everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and last night we had another fantastic episode of The Mask Singer. We had a big reveal, which, you know, we did right here. And right now, I'm gonna go through all the clues in the brand new Pitch Correct audio with you. Before we do that, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. Now, for those who are new to the YouTube channel, hi, how are you? My name is Joey, and I'm an executive audio producer here in beautiful New York City, where it's my job every single night to find audio of shows, what's trending, new music, maybe something in the news. And when that audio does not sound good, it's also my job to make it sound good. So maybe that's taking out maybe a high frequency, maybe a low buzz in the clip. And for those who follow the show every single week, you know that The Masked Singer gives us brand new clue videos for every single celebrity, pretty much giving us an idea about who's under the mask, but Fox is smart. They said, um, we can't let the celebrities talk in their regular voice. They're gonna figure out who it is. So what do they do? They pitch up their voice and they speed it up so you have no idea who it is. And I figured, uh, I could go ahead and slow it down and pitch correct it, and we can hear the real celebrity voice. Now that plus the clues, we could determine who is under the mask. And this past week, spoilers, just so you know, big spoiler, and we did get this right. The flower was revealed to be Patti LaBelle. That's right, my Temple University degree worked. Cause you know, she had that uh, honorary Temple degree and I went to Temple and they talk about it a lot. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's go ahead and dive into the brand new clues and the pitch correct audio because we had three other contestants on the show. Let's dive first into the Rottweiler. He says that he's terrified of the panel figuring out his true identity and judging him. He held up a boxing glove with the word that said Boxing Day written on them. One of the bodyguards held up a mouthpiece that said Platinum on it, which could either mean Platinum Teeth or Platinum Album, hmm, right? Then the Rottweiler says everything is Zen, so obviously someone who is, uh, believes in Zen kind of stuff, or it's a song title, hmm, you never know. Uh, then we see a calendar that has September circled, big clue right there. Um, and then the last clue that we saw was a row of golden statues saying, I wanna win this more than anything I've ever won in my career. Now, here's the audio that Fox gave us. Being on this stage is the most fun I've had in as long as I can remember. But truth be told, I'm terrified of the panel finding out my true identity and judging me because of it. Now, here's my pitch correct audio. Being on this stage is the most fun I've had in as long as I can remember. But truth be told, I'm terrified of the panel finding out my true identity and judging me because of it. So I've been training every day to make sure I won't be unmasked anytime soon. Because here, I can finally be seen for just my voice and pure talent. Everything is zen. I want to win this more than anything I've ever wanted in my career. With this song, I'm ready to show the lengths I'll go to win that golden mask. And now, who do you think that is? I'm gonna say, I think it's Chris Daltrey. Now, before I tell you why, let's go ahead. I wanna play an interview clip of Chris talking, and then you can kinda of see how the pitch correction works. Here's what Chris sounds like talking. We were planning on putting the record out sooner and, or having it done sooner, but uh, one thing led to another. And... So as you can see, it does sound like him a lot. Now, um, one of the main reasons why I think this is him, besides the clue video we already did on this channel, the biggest thing was the circling of September. Come on, you know this song. It's worth it in the end. Yeah, Daltrey, September, it's gotta be. Do you agree? Do you agree? Come on, if you don't, please tell me in the comment section or if you do tell me in the comment section. Next, we're gonna talk about the flamingo. The new clues that we had was, she says, I'm so happy that I feel like she's living in fantasy. And then we see a shot of an island. Um, she welcomes viewers to her home and calls it her chateau, which is French. We saw photos of the Eiffel Tower and the Taj Mahal. Uh, she says this experience is teaching me to love my own voice for the first time in years. For those who don't know this person, didn't sing for a while. Um, then she was wearing a huge jewel encrusted ring, like a, I guess maybe an engagement ring. Um, she held up a paper cutout of what looks like to be four children, which is strange because I don't think this person has any kids. And then she danced to a marachi band in her backyard. Now to go through the audio, this is what Fox gave us. After weeks of my nerves getting the best of me, I feel like things are starting to click. I'm so happy, I feel like I'm living in a fantasy. Now here's my audio, well technically your audio. After weeks of my nerves getting the best of me, I feel like things are starting to click. I'm so happy, I feel like I'm living in a fantasy. Welcome to my beautiful home, I like to call my chateau. 
For today, I'm soaking up all the incredible things the panel have said about me. I'm realizing this experience is teaching me to love my own voice for the first time in years. And adios mio. Can I be straight up? I'm finally finding my center. And now, with my newfound confidence, tonight I'm throwing the biggest party this stage has ever seen. Any guesses? Well, I think it's Adrian Bayon. Now, we did a whole video on this channel talking about why we think it is. I could put it in the comments section, but I do want to play a little bit of an interview of her talking so that you can see that the pitch correct audio does match up. You have an amazing voice. Why are you hiding it from the world? So as you can see, it kind of does match up. But for me, we did do a whole video talking about why we think it's her. For the new Clue package, nothing really stood out except for maybe um, the, the ring because she was recently engaged. What? not too long ago. I mean, besides that, she did talk recently about her not really liking to sing, and this is what she talked about. I'm scared to fail. I don't like the sound of my own voice. What? Wow. And that's honest. So I, I think it adds up. Do you agree, disagree? Please comment below. And finally, we had one last contestant, The Leopard. Here are the brand new clues that we got. Uh, he says, I never imagined how liberating this competition would be for me. He says, when I was a teenager, I set myself free for the first time. Since then, I've done my best to treat my world like a catwalk. He mentions that no matter where he is, he always tries to channel his inner Gamazon? Glaz gla Glamazon? Glamazon, I think that's how you say it. Uh, he mentioned New York, Paris, and then a megaphone with the Australian flag. Um, and then he, someone handed him a baseball bat. So... Uh, kind of strange. Anyway, here's the audio Fox gave us. When I was a teenager, I set myself free for the first time. Since then, I've done my best to treat the world as my catwalk. Now, before I give you the pitch correct audio, we already announced that this person is a guy and he's speaking in an accent and is talking in a higher pitch of voice. So this pitch correct audio is not going to sound good because it'd be the same thing if you raise your voice and talk like this. It's only going to pitch correct to whatever that was. So this is the pitch correct that we could get out of it. I never imagined how liberating this competition would be for me. Each time I step out onto this stage, I discover I can do things that were inconceivable without a mask. When I was a teenager, I set myself free for the first time. Since then, I've done my best to treat the world as my catwalk. Whether I'm in New York or Gay Paris, I always try to channel my inner glamazon and champion. I'm singing a song that celebrates the best of the past because I never want to forget that moment when I chose to just be me. Now, who do you think that is? I think it's Seal. Um, we haven't done a video yet on why we think it's Seal, but just from that clue package, the one thing that stood out was the Australian flag. For those who don't know, Seal was a, um, a judge on The Voice, I think for three different seasons in Australia. So for me, that would kind of be a clue. The other ones, not so much. I wanna know what you guys think in the comments section. Do you think it's Seal? Anyway, I figured I'll go ahead and play all the rest of the pitch correct audio for the remaining contestants. Here you go. Last performance, I let my guard down and sang from the heart. But let's be real, I'm used to my voice winning over the ladies. What's up, Nicole? After I put on a good show, I always like to break bread with the homies. And this is how we do it. Feel free to snoop into my life. You'd see that my pops taught me how to serenade the ladies, and I haven't stopped since. So, Nicola Majig, tonight this song's for you. And I ain't too proud to beg. Rehearsing for my last performance, there was an accident, and I suffered an electric shock that nearly knocked me out. All my insecurities about performing resurfaced. But I couldn't let that setback stand in my way. Becoming the butterfly, has reignited a love I've had since I was seven years old. I found others modeled just like me and was welcomed into the choir's joyful noise. It made me feel safe, even in the hardest times. This bleeding love has given me the highest of highs. It sadly led to the lowest of lows. As the butterfly, I am taking charge and reclaiming what I thought I'd lost because this is what I was meant to do. Getting this far against so many great singers has been one of the most gratifying experiences I've ever had. 
But I will say, the hardest part of this whole funky thing is learning to stand on my own two purple stumps for the first time. And let me tell you, I work really well with others. So when I put on this mask, it was like I'd been beamed up into another dimension. Where I'm alone, like the new girl at school. Ooh, maybe I'll hang out with those strangers with candy. Tonight, it's all about showing the judges and myself that there are no more excuses. And that this tree can stand tall. The love I've received these past few weeks has let a whole new side of myself shine. I'm always dreaming about entertaining people on tour. In my 30-year career, I've accomplished many things in pursuit of this dream. I've won multiple awards and become a household name. But I'm mostly known for being part of a pack of talented fellas. Not my voice alone. So tonight, with this mask on, I'm gonna prove that I'm a superhero all by myself. Because this fox is one in a million. I never imagined how liberating this competition would be for me. Each time I step out onto this stage, I discover I can do things that were inconceivable without a mask. When I was a teenager, I set myself free for the first time. Since then, I've done my best to treat the world as my catwalk. Whether I'm in New York or Gay Paris, I always try to channel my inner glamazon and champion. I'm singing a song that celebrates the best of the past because I never want to forget that moment when I chose to just be me. After weeks of my nerves getting the best of me, I feel like things are starting to click. I'm so happy, I feel like I'm living in a fantasy. Welcome to my beautiful home I like to call my chateau. Where today, I'm soaking up all the incredible things the panel have said about me. I'm realizing this experience is teaching me to love my own voice for the first time in years. And adios mio. Can I be straight up? I'm finally finding my center. And now, with my newfound confidence, tonight I'm throwing the biggest party this stage has ever seen. Being on this stage is the most fun I've had in as long as I can remember. But truth be told, I'm terrified of the panel finding out my true identity and judging me because of it. So I've been training every day to make sure I won't be unmasked anytime soon. Because here, I can finally be seen for just my voice and pure talent. Everything is zen. I want to win this more than anything I've ever wanted in my career. With this song, I'm ready to show the lengths I'll go to win that golden mask. Once again, comment below who you think they are, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Now, if you made it this far to the video, you know that I like to give you guys something fun to do, some kind of question, something goofy. And right now, my question for you is this. Growing up, what was your favorite cartoon to watch? Saturday morning cartoons, what was it? For me, oh gosh. See, I don't even know. That's a good question to ask you guys. Probably Scooby-Doo. Probably Scooby-Doo. Where are you, Scooby? Raggy? Anyway, I'll see you guys later.